We want to recognize people who champion safety in the workplace. Part of what a safety champion would do is promote safety with their coworkers. You keep your helmet in your face, you hung up that out of the way. Yeah. And sure the order, that way they, you wouldn't get no dust or anything in them. That's a real good idea, Nate. I, I like seeing stuff like that. They see people taking shortcuts and they know it's only a matter of time till somebody gets bit. Sometimes you use your gloves and sometimes you didn't. And the part you was handling had very sharp edges on it. We have to find some way to reinforce people for working safely. I really love the way you had um, two pallets setting up and you could come straight off the table and just drop them down. You didn't have to move this way or that way. And we think it's so important that employees be talking to one another about safety just in their normal day-to-day -day routine. And you work fast. That's the really reason you're sweating now. You still sweat from how hard you worked a while ago. I know it really was. So the question I get asked a lot is how long does it take to see results? Well, you think you could try bending with your leg instead of bending over with your back? How long does it take you to get to zero? <laughs>
all levels of management participating in conducting the observations the same as the employees working on the floor. Getting out of the office and going out into the workplace and doing a safety walk around, watching how people are performing their jobs and talking with them about the, the hazards and the things that they're having to work around. You know, there's some potholes in the road to implementing these kinds of efforts and some of those aren't just little bumps in the road, some of those are big enough to drive a truck into and can set you back a ways. And uh, we've steered around those for a while and have pretty good experience in helping companies avoid those and get it right the first time. We also talk about flexible solutions. In some cases, our processes look very, very different depending on the, the, the nature of the work and what the client's objectives are. We design an implementation process that fits the unique needs of, of each customer. I tell companies that our services range from simple front-end training on how to do it yourself through full turnkey implementation with various permutations in between. But our role beyond that is to make sure that the client, that that team understands their range of options and what they should consider in selecting each of those options so that uh, the things such as the frequency of observations, who's participating, where observations are done, the process, the procedure associated with conducting observations, uh, how we're going to collect the data, all of those issues get addressed in the context of that organization and in a way that meets the needs of, of that organization. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is affordable sustainability. To put a plan together that fits within the client's budget. Probably more importantly than the affordable part of that affordable sustainability statement is the, the sustainability piece. If you don't have some system to ensure that the observations sustain, eventually people will stop doing them. We have clients who have implemented these our process, the, the values-based safety process, back in the, the mid-90s, uh, where the process is still in place today. And, and when you think about organizational change efforts that you've been a part of them, there are damn few that, that carry on for that period of time, that sustain, you know, 10, 15 years uh, later. And yet we have many, many examples of very, what would be considered long-lasting uh, intervention. So the question I get asked a lot is how long does it take to see results? Um, and, and I think the question, my response to that is usually how long is it going to take us to get significant involvement on the part of your employees? And many times that's a logistical issue because our rate of getting employees involved is very closely tied to our rate of getting employees trained in how to do observations in the process. And so that's going to vary. Some organizations can get their entire workforce trained up very quickly. Other organizations are going to spread that training out over six months or 12 months. But when you look at the research literature, the thing that's, that's pretty clear is you see a, a fairly quick, you see the results fairly quickly once you get the observation started. And so the question really becomes how, what's, What's the quickest way for us to get a significant number of employees trained? Those companies are going to see significant, practically significant reductions in injuries, typically in the neighborhood of, of 20 to, to 50 percent, even more than that in some cases. I think most of our clients select QSE based on a couple of things. One is uh, the, our track record at creating long-lasting results and the other is the nature of the personal relationships, just sort of the gut feel they have when they have an opportunity to meet the consultant that will be working with them. I mean, they, they're here to try to help and they care about your safety, so that's a good thing. And just through our general conversation and just trying to brainstorm for just a few seconds, we come up with a possible solution. I think a 
I'm doing the observation is very, very good for the company and everybody just get in and get involved. We all like family. Everybody watches out each other, so, so anything that, 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 that he can see that I'm doing wrong, he can let me know.